guys. Hi, guys. It's Janice from Welcome to Shabbat. How are y'all doing today? I am late. I was having some issues, and my phone is only at uh, 3%. Um, it is plugged in, charging, so I'm hoping that it will charge. So today is Tuesday. Today is Thrift Haul Tuesday, Thrifty Tuesday, and I did not thrift this morning, but I did thrift last Tuesday, and I'm here to show you what I got. I got a lot. I haven't thrifted in a long time, you guys, because I have already so much stuff that I need to work with here, so I haven't really been... Um, going out to get new stuff. But uh, Christmas is coming and there's lots of things I need to make and create. So I did have to get out there. Hey, hey, Facebook user, I'm using StreamYard. So please tell me who you are. Um, Cause if you don't give StreamYard permission to use your name, they won't show me your name. So I think that's probably a good thing. But um, so let me know who you are, whoever just said, hey, hey. As you pop on, please say hi so that I know you're here. I'm here at my store. This is my IOD section right here. Hey, B Brianna Hayes. Well, I'm honored. <laughs> I'm honored to have you here. Thank you so much. How are you? I do follow you, and I do see the wonderful, beautiful work that you do. Hey, Michelle. Thank you so much i haven't seen you in so long girlfriend you're killing it out there canvas work and just so much beautiful things that you've been doing i'm so happy for you so let's get started on the thrift haul um as i talk so i did kind of focus on a lot of christmas stuff because i need to decorate my store this little guy he's cute right He's my, oh gosh, why am I so bad with the camera today? This is that awesome metallic green color that I love. It's still a little snowman. I probably am just going to use him for decoration. I don't believe that I will be painting him, but I might. Sometimes uh, I don't break him because he's breakable. So I have to be very careful with this little guy. Uh, sometimes when you have a little when you have a little paint left over on your paintbrush, I look around for things to just clean my paintbrush off. So he might get something. This is just a little teeny cement whoop, cement box that says happy. And there, I think I got this for like two bucks. So I thought he was cute. I'll probably paint him. I might put some molds on him, a little bit of something up here. But I'll keep the happy because I thought that was kind of cute. Uh, let's see. So let me jump into this one thing I want to tell you guys about. Are you familiar with Rhonda Church Frinfrock? If you are not, good for stamps too, for that little box. Yeah, like, yeah. And I, I have to get something that's. That's not too holiday-ish, cause uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I, I think I might do some of these makeovers live. Um, so if you're not familiar with Rhonda Church Frinfrock, you need to be. Her business is called Fruitful Life Studios, and she posted something the other day. She had a little, a little lamp. She had a little lamp. She had a frame and a little glass vase, and she had upcycled them in such a beautiful way. If I can find that photo, I will drop it here so you can see it. So I want to, I was inspired by Rhonda. So three items that I purchased that I'm gonna upcycle as a set. So I'm going, I found this little clock. It doesn't have a back. I don't know if it needs to have a back. Um, but it's kind of, it's kind of, I want to say, use the word gooey. It's kind of like ooey gooey. It's, it has some motion to it. I don't know what it is that I see. But this guy will be upcycled along with this little bottle for $1.99 for two of them. So it was a dollar for one. 
The clock was five bucks. So I'm going to, I'm going to make, why am I, so this is going to be a set along with, along with a frame. So I'm going to, um, you do the frame, the clock, and the vase, the frame, the clock, and the vase as a matching set. And I do want to drop that link, that post, so you can see Rhonda's beautiful. She's amazing. She's an amazing artist. She's great at smalls, and I was inspired by one of her latest creations, and that's what I'm going to do with those three. And um, now, where I go thrifting is called Savers, and it's a it's basically people just drop off their stuff and they uh, put it for sale. And on Tuesdays, they do a uh, senior citizens discount of 30%. So everything that I tell you is the price. I got 30% off of that. So I need Christmas items, you guys, for my shop. So I thought these two carolers were cute. Um, and they were $6 for the both of them. So So will I paint these, you guys? Paint them or keep them? I mean, I could potentially really ruin them if I paint them. So I probably will not paint them. <laughs> so that's some Christmas stuff. And um, these guys, Corbels, Corbels, Corbels. The reason why I got these is because I sell Jamie Ray vintage stencils and I have so many of them and I do not like the way I have them displayed. So I'm going to have Randy put these on the wall and we'll put a bar through it. We'll put a bar through it and then we can hang Jamie Ray vintage stencils. Nice. And I'll definitely paint these. These will definitely be painted. I don't know what color yet, but the so definitely be painted. $3.99, 30% off. Not a bad deal, guys. I never go shopping anymore to any store that is not resale. Great idea. Yeah, we can do that. And then, um, do you guys remember these? Do you guys remember these? These were big. These angels. These angels were big a while back. I want to say the 80s or the 90s. I had one of these a long time. I love her skirt. And this was $5. Solid wood. Whenever I find things that are wood, I have a very hard time not buying them. Anything that's wood that hurts your knuckles when you um, knock on it, that's just upcycled. You did? You got second one of these? You gotta drop your picture, please, in my group. I would love to see it. I'm gonna do molds all over her. Did you do molds? I'm gonna do the Christmas mold. Girl, same. I have so much wood stuff, right? And then, ow, like when it hurts your hand, that's when you know it's good stuff. I'm probably gonna use the boughs of holly and the snowflake mold on this angel. So she's going to get upside. Can't not pick that up. I mean, it's beautiful. And these are, I got so much stuff, you guys. This thing right here, $3.99. The reason why I got this is I want to put all of my paintbrushes are going to be stored in these pretty uh, white pictures. I just think that I have so many paintbrushes and they're just, you know, not, I want to display them nice. So I'm, and whenever I see some of these, I'm going to pick them up for my paintbrushes. I could like paint it, but I have a feeling it will just pick up some paint from um, me just accidentally. Chefs, Kelly, 
How are you, honey? I just got back from South Carolina. I was down there with um, I was down there with a workshop called Created for a Time Like This by Dion Woods and Debbie Beard, and it was at in Spartanburg. And the owner of the business we were at is Danielle Sparks, and it was awesome. Janice, I saw you in the pics. Hi, Nancy. Woo, woo. Um, miss you too so much, you guys. I can't wait to see everybody again. I just got back from a workshop and I'm really looking forward to another one. <laughs> um, all right, guys. This is my favorite thing. I was gonna save it for last, but look what I found. Look what I found, guys. It's a dress, a dress form. I kind of it's a small dress form. It was only $2.99. Guess what I'm doing with this. How was it? I couldn't make it to that one. I love Danielle. <laughs> I just unscrewed the bottom and it just fell off. But that's okay. I can fix that. It was it was amazing, as always, Kelly. I mean, the love that we all share for each other and how we feel so connected and so so in our own uh, tribe, it, that feeling was prevalent throughout the whole weekend. Um, and so it was it was wonderful. It was great. Guess what I'm doing with this? I am, have you seen when people make like a skirt out of Christmas greenery? And um, so she'll have a beautiful skirt made out of real Christmas greenery. She'll have some white light. And I'm going to put some of the Christmas molds up on her bodice to make like a, like kind of like a dress, like kind of like the dress. So that's gonna be fun. So this was like $2.99, what a find. Could not believe when I saw this because I've been looking at the really big dress forms. Um, they're at Hobby Lobby on sale for about 80 bucks. But that's too daunting for me to start with that big, huge dress form. So when I saw this little one at Savers for three bucks, yeah, I thought that's perfect. I'll start making my Christmas dress form small. So that is that. And oh, when you see coasters, buy them because you can definitely upcycle coasters. These, what I look for when I look for coasters is the back. Make sure they're nice and clean. These look like they've never been used and they stay quick on them, but it's not engraved. Like it's still one flat surface. I will paint these, I will put transfers on them, and I will seal them with big top. So these are gonna be, I don't know, maybe I'll do Christmas ones. I'm going to. I'm gonna do Christmas, I'm gonna make Christmas coasters out of these, and I will put them in my store for our Christmas sale that we're having this weekend. I have a lot to do to get ready for my Christmas sale that we're having this weekend. Um, Thanksgiving, I realized I needed a new gra another gravy boat. I need more than one gravy boat in my house. I saw this one. I picked it up. Three bucks. 30% off. So sometimes I buy things for the house, my house too, that I'm not even going to upcycle. One of these days, okay, Michelle, my bell, <laughs> we need you to come. You will love it. They're going to be happening, you know, they'll be happening. So um, keep your eye out and we'll remind you and, and um, see one of these days that it'll all work out for you and, you're, and you'll be able to come. Hi, Facebook user. I'm sorry. I don't, StreamYard doesn't allow me to see your name if you don't give StreamYard permission. So please tell me who you are. Yeah, Michelle, we're going to get you out there. Um, all right. It's bad. All right. I have a lot. So bear with me. It's just red. It's just sparkly. It's just going to look great in my window for my Christmas decor. Um, it doesn't even have a price on it. I don't know. I never would have bought something like this 
to put in my house, you guys. Um, but for your store window, it's different. And anything that's bright and that will catch pe people's attention is definitely a good thing. So, and he's cute. I got to tell you something. Randy, I talk about Randy all the time, you guys. Randy, my fiance, uh, if you know me, you're going to hear about Randy. Um, so that's what he said. This is what he said. He said, Janice. He said, Janice. I'm going to help you with your store display this year. And so he just wants me to trust him. I And he won't tell me what he's going to do. So, yeah. So I trust him. So we'll have to, I'll share with you what he's going to do. I have no idea. I bought this little sleigh. Perfect. These things, things guys, have never been used. I mean, maybe they were, but they don't look it. Definitely brave. Well, I'm brave or he's brave. I think he's brave. Because, but we're partners and um, yeah, so all that stuff. Definitely upcycle. I'm seeing stamps for this. Are you guys seeing stamps for this? I'm seeing stamps for this. Hello, Facebook user. Please tell me who you are. You're, I'm brave. I'm brave. No, I'm not. <laughs> you guys are going to have to send me some positive vibes that even if I don't like it, I'm not going to tell him. I have to be like, oh, that's so good. But he's going to be good. I think it's going to be good. So um, tell me who you are. If uh, like Because if it just says Facebook user, I don't know who you are. And I'd love to know. Oh, 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 I just found a little easel. When I was at Spartanburg last weekend at Danielle's place, okay, her store is called Reinvintage. Vintage. Re -in Vintage. You know what she did? She had an easel and she put the trimmings one or one of the trimmings molds. She decorated it with the trimmings molds. So I'm going to have to be inspired by that. I'm not going to copy it. I'm just going to be inspired by it. <laughs> and I'm going to decorate this. Easel. This easel was two ninety nine. Brand. I swear again, brand new. Looks like it's never been used. Um, I was wrong about the Rhonda Church Friend Frock project because. Oh, I just got this to put in my store to hang my piece. I'll probably paint that. I don't know what color, but I'll paint that. Um, I got this. This has been used. You can tell. But I'm going to put this on my door or in my window or something at my store. Uh, I found this. You guys, I don't know. Some things I just like everything I see. And so they're so inexpensive and they're for my store. So I um, buy them. This was $3.99. But look at it. I feel like I can put this on my desk in my store. It's a little clip. So I have a, if I have a special note that I want to uh, relay at my desk, that's what I'm going to do. I'm probably not, probably not going to paint this unless you think I should. Let me know. Um. So what I said, I was wrong about the Rhonda Church Friend Frock Inspiration Project that I am doing. Part of the set that she upcycled had a lamp. So I don't know why I forgot that. So I found this lamp. They were all small pieces. Um, this was $4.99. This shade is fabric. like It's like linen. Um, the shade is clean. Yeah, it's very clean, but I will be painting this. This is uh, glass metal. So I'll be painting this. And um, I forgot because 
I forgot because this was last Tuesday that I went thrifting and I um forgot what I, pieces I was using for the set. So the clock, I'm definitely going to still use. And remember how I said I felt like the lines in this clock have movement? Like it's kind of like an ooey gooey look. I don't know. Um, so what I found to go with it is this frame. Now this frame is definitely wavy on the edges and ooey gooey looking. So I've got lots of things that I can do with this set. I've got the frame. I've got the clock. I've got the vase. And I have the lamp. So um, we'll see which ones make the cut for the. And I also have the little frames. So I'm not. I picked up a bunch of frames because I wasn't sure which would be the best ones for that project. Um, we're almost done, guys. <laughs> this is another frame. Whenever I find a frame that is clean, looks like it's never been used, has space for me to work on, I will buy it. I'm thinking mermaid on this frame, mermaid and some seashells. I think that there's a lot of uh, space here for me to do some crafting on it, or I could go a completely different direction and use the, um, I could decoupage, or I'm really loving decoupage, you guys. This is Jeannie of Russell Road, the melting lens. Ooey gooey is Salvador Dali. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Ooey gooey. I don't know why. You I do you think this do you think this clock is a little ooey gooey looking? Or am I just odd? I just feel like it's just got like a little bit of a rounded edges. You know what I mean? Very, very slight. I don't know. It just I just love it. I was I was so lucky to find it because I really wanted to use Rhonda's set as inspiration and I believe I got the perfect pieces for it. So this is done. I just have a couple more things. Okay, so another thing I found. I was watching something in the IODs. <clears throat> Iron Orchid Designs Retailer Group, where I can't remember who they are. I can't remember. It was a mother-daughter team, and they were showing how they ship products. So when they get orders from IOD, how to ship them. And that shipping, for me, has been one of the more, more difficult things to figure out in this business. But i got to get it figured out because I'm not charging enough for shipping. Um, they were using what is called a postal scale. I found one at Savers. You guys, it's so strange, but I found a postal scale at Savers right after I saw that video by them. And right after I said to myself, I need one of these. I have no idea if it works, but I need to start weighing my products that I ship so that I charge exactly what this cost will be for shipping. I'm going to start right now when I ship, I rely a lot on USPS. So I go there. Hello, God. Thank you. You know, I don't know why I stopped short of saying that. I should not. <laughs> You are right, my girlfriend. Um, you are right. So, yeah. I rely way too much on other people. I don't think the shipping is coming out correctly. Um, so I'm going to take that all in and start printing out the shipping labels right here in my store. I think it'll make life a lot easier. I actually think that it's you uh the shipping is cheaper if you use a uh, different kind of um service for your shipping other than usps so 
um, I'm going to I'm going to start that. So hopefully that scale works. Just a nice frame, you guys. Um, whoop, what's going on? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, right, just a nice frame, you guys. I love a lot of texture. A lot of room for me to work. A lot of room for me to paint and add add things. This was four dollars for thirty percent off. Oh wait, last two items, you guys. I got a little snowman, a little wooden snowman with a baby snowman. Oh, see, he's cute, right? He's even shabby. He's a shabby because, look, he's been distressed up here. I don't think I have to do anything with this snowman, but stick him in my window. Um, I might do a little. I might add more greenery. Maybe I'll add more greenery um, at the bottom. Last item. This is the last item I got at Savers. You see him? Great big snowman. He's something, you guys. I like the color. I like the fact that he's brown. Goes really good with the with the vintagey. His beard, he's clean. His beard is nice. And he's got this little, oh, where is it? He's got this little teddy bear he has a little, with a little bow. So, yeah. So that's it, you guys. So uh, Randy's going to come by today. He's going to leave work early. He's going to come by the store. He's going to help me get it set up for Christmas. Um, which I know it probably should have been done already, but that's been going on. So, I don't know. Are you in the spirit? Are you in the Christmas spirit? Shipping is hard. Shipping is, is, is a big learning curve. It's a big learning curve. Um, I'll let you know how I do with these changes, if I can get to it. Right now, go to my store and buy stuff because shipping's really low. <laughs> www.shabalot.com. I have all IOD. I have DIY paint. I have the new DIY paint kit. But that's another story. We'll talk about that another time. Um, yeah. Are you in the spirit? I'm not yet, you guys. I, you know, sometimes Christmas time, I will feel it. I know when I am in the spirit, when I have the Christmas spirit, and I, I don't have it yet. So maybe me decorating, I'm going to put on some Christmas music today. We're going to decorate and hopefully in spirit will, will get me. Thank you guys so much for being here. I am, as I said, working, going to be working very, very hard uh, for 2022 to be a prosperous year for Welcome to Shabalot. So I'm going to be coming live a lot. Because I love to create with you guys. I love to share with you my thrift finds. And I love to create with you guys. I love talking to you. So um, please join uh, my live broadcast whenever you can. Please say hi. Please chat. <laughs> I got to catch you. I haven't caught you live. Uh, it's been crazy. But I got to catch you. And I will. I want to say hi. All right, guys, please support local business. Please support your friends in this business by catching their lives and, and you know, posting and commenting. And every little comment, every little like, every little heart that you share on these lives and on the posts of small business in Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, any of the social medias, just a little thing like hitting a like button really Ex could expand our business um, exponentially because they have algorithms to promote different people. And if they have uh, business owners or accounts that don't get a lot of uh, activity, they won't promote you. If you get a lot, the more activity you get, the more they will promote you, the more reach that we will have. 
to reach more people. And that is my goal for 2022 is to reach more people, to invite them to this community, to invite them to create and um, to use DIY paint. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's it. I'm done with my speech. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Hopefully I will see you all soon. Have a great day. Bye.